Hi everyone, my name is Jean-Christophe Chouinard and today we'll learn how to install Git on macOS. So what we'll do is we will go to install homebrew. So install homebrew and we'll go to the package manager and here we have a bash that will allow you to install homebrew on your Mac machine if that hasn't been done. Here I put on my password, enter, and then let's pause for a second while Ombro installs. So cool, now Brew has been installed. So what we can do is we need to install uh, Git. So we can go to my article to find the command here, uh, install Git, so it's Brew install Git. So you can go to your terminal, Brew install Git. Um, so yeah, so now we need to do those commands. So I forgot here to do the command. So we can do echo set. So we'll have to set pad of brew. So echo zf profile echo. And then evil brew shell environment. And then so if we go back and do brew install git, now that we've installed to the pad. Git will get installed on Mac. So now Git has been installed. So what we'll see is if it's probably Git version, see if it's okay. Yeah, we have it. So now we will want to create our first comment. So we can do a uh, touch. Oh no, let's uh, make dear Git. Uh, git uh, directory. So now I make dir, and then I will uh, cd in git directory. So I'm I actually moving through the directory. So now I'm in within the git directory, and I will create a new file called hello.txt. So now I can see if I list within, I can see that I've created the hello.txt. So now what I will want to do is I will have to git config minus, it's git config. So what I will write is git config minus global and I would say user email and me at example.com and I would do git config global user name and I would put my name and then I'm ready to commit so I've created the file I've uh, configured my email and name so now what I can do is I can say git add and I can say hello the text so I will add to to the commit and then I will say git commit minus m my first comment. So now I've created my first comment on Git on Git on Mac. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and see you next time.